my name is Caitlin and this video is going to be about mining and cryptocurrency and pretty much why you can't find a graphics card for a actual real price right now. It's ridiculous. So I actually made this video a couple days ago and I just, it was not, it's like I keep trying to dance around this line of being not too technical but wanting to talk about the technology behind all of this. So forgive me if this video is also going to be confusing. If you do not know anything about cryptocurrency, blockchain, Bitcoin, Ethereum, any type of digital currency, anything like that, and you do not want to know about any of that, then you probably want to just skip this video because that's what this video is about. And if you're not interested in it, then it's a lot of technical stuff that you just, it might not benefit your life in any way. However, if you have even a little bit of interest in any of the things I just mentioned, then I highly recommend that you A, watch this video, and B, that you do research on your own because honestly, I do believe that this is going to be a big part of our future. Maybe not specifically Bitcoin or what we are experiencing right now, but an iteration of this. So if you have no idea what I'm talking about, a brief intro, cryptocurrency is literally just currency that's protected by cryptography. Cryptography is just a way of keeping things, what's a good word, uh, secure through math. So we are able to utilize computers to complete very technical mathematical problems in order to handle these transactions. Probably the most popular, well known, that if you have no idea what I'm talking about, you may be familiar with Bitcoin. Bitcoin has been around the longest. It is the original. It is crazy right now. It a year ago, it was just a couple hundred dollars. Now we're over $2,500, and there's just a lot going on with Bitcoin right now that has a lot of people really interested. However, Bitcoin is not going to, at least I feel like, it's not going to be the end all be all. And so now we have something called Ethereum that's also on the rise and has been in the news quite a bit, and that is because Bitcoin has been around for so long that there are tons of people out in the world who have created mining warehouses that can mine Bitcoin in a way that somebody like myself just can't compete with. However, with Ethereum, because it is still very small and young, it still can be mined. This requires a lot of computer power to do so. So essentially by mining, you're kind of lending your computer to the process to compute these transactions, verify them, and in doing so, you get a bit of coin. It's almost like a transaction fee, not really a reward. Uh, there's different ways to explain it, and I'm sure I there and I'm sure there's probably going to be Bitcoin and blockchain experts that are going to be like, no, she got it totally wrong. But this is just how I understand it in a very simple way. So the fact that you can mine right now means that you can make money doing this. So with Ethereum in the news, a lot of people ran to the stores, bought graphics cards to put in their systems or create huge mining rigs, sometimes with up to six graphics cards, or I'm sure you could do more, to mine and hopefully turn a profit. Unfortunately, there are a bunch of issues with this. One, the stock for graphics cards is now incredibly low. And if you follow me on Twitter, you saw that I just the other day posted uh, a picture of a 1070 that's going for $800. I own that 1070 and I did not pay $800 for that. And that was new. So the price is the prices of graphics cards is incredibly inflated right now because people are just snatching up all these graphics cards to mine. The problem with that is mining 
is not really that profitable. So if you go buy a seven, $800 card thinking you're going to make that back, it's going to take you a long time. So when I first started testing mining Ethereum, in eight hours, I made $1.50. So that means in a full day, if I kept my computer mining the whole entire time, and this is with a, a 1080, so it's an NVIDIA card, uh, if I kept my computer mining that whole time, I would have made just under $5. But you have to account for things like the electricity cost of running your computer and graphics card at 100% load. Not the computer, but the graphics card will be at 100% load, and that does increase your power consumption. So your electricity bill is going to go up. Also, the heat coming out of the computer is also exponentially increased, so you're probably gonna wanna run your AC a little bit more just to cool down the room because running computers while mining it gets very hot so those are two things to keep in mind and that means that that just under five dollars you're actually probably only making three fifty four dollars so in a month you're maybe going to make a hundred dollars if you spent seven eight hundred dollars on a graphics card or even three four hundred dollars you can imagine you can do the math and see how long that's going to take you to recoup that money not something I would recommend right now. However, if you do have an extra car laying around and you're interested in getting in this market, but not necessarily to turn a profit right away, like an immediate profit, and you wanna play the long game, then I do recommend dabbling in it a little bit. Setting up a mining batch script is super easy. There are tons of guides all over the internet for it. This is not going to be a how-to video on how to do that. There are tons of them already, and I will put the links in the descriptions for the ones that I've used. Super easy. If you have any type of knowledge in batch scripting, then that's even better, but definitely not necessary. It's super easy. And you can see for yourself how much you're going to make with your graphics card and and whether or not it will be worth, worth it. The other side of that is that you could turn a profit by selling your card now. There are certain cards right now that are pulling a pretty penny if you sell them on like eBay or Craigslist. People are snatching those cards up. So you can try that. Some of the older cards are not really going for that much. It's more of the newer cards. AMD was pulling a lot of money for a while, but it seems to be that Nvidia has kind of caught up. I don't really know the specifics of why, but I know that when I tested on my 480 and my 1080, my 1080 mined Ethereum a lot better. The other side of all of this mining cryptocurrency investing in Bitcoin or Ethereum or any of them is the risk involved. So there's, there's a lot of smart people behind this technology right now and not all of them are good. And unfortunately, there are scam coins out there that you may think are real and are not. There are technologies being advertised that say they can do one thing and end up being not that capable. They had a good vision, but they're not there yet. So a lot of things to keep in mind when investing, always do your research. I mean, it's like anything on the stock market today. Just be really careful. Also, these markets are just I don't wanna use the word volatile, but they are just unpredictable. The other day on one of the exchanges, there are multiple exchanges that you can use. I'm on two of them, but on one of them, there was a huge sell for Ethereum. When this individual sold this high volume of Ethereum, it dropped the price of Ethereum on that exchange uh, like $100 or something, it went from, uh, I'm making these numbers up, I don't know the specifics, but it was like 350, 370 down to 270, something like that. In doing so, a lot of people had stop loss orders set up automatically to sell when it gets to a certain point. Unfortunately, what happened is that a few hundred, I think they said 800 stop loss orders all went off at the same time, causing the price to plummet down to 10 cents and those people sold their shares of Ethereum for 10 cents when it was a, just before 370, which is insane. They did lose a ton of money, but unfortunately that is the risk in this. And if you are in this, you need to know the risks. 
that is not something you want to wake up to and see that all of your shares of Ethereum are gone and that you lost all your money. In anything like the stock market, gambling, anything, you never want to bet the house. Bet your house, not the house. You never want to bet your house. So just keep that in mind if this is your intention. If you do plan on trading any of these currencies, please be smart about it because that's heartbreaking to see so many people lost. So that's one aspect of the risk. The other aspect of the risk is that without getting too technical, the way you store your balance, whether it's Bitcoin, Ethereum, any of the altcoins, is in a wallet. You can store them on an exchange, but it's always risky to store things on an exchange. You could transfer you, those funds from the exchange to an online wallet which some people use. There are plenty of websites that offer such a thing. The problem with doing that is that any of these sites could be hacked and you could lose your password. You could get hacked. Somebody could find your password and log in and take all of your coin. There's just a lot of things that could happen um, and in this environment, it's not unheard of and it definitely very well could happen to you. So if you have a large balance, then you probably want to store it offline in a hardware wallet. So essentially that's just storing your address on like a USB key. And then you put your USB key in a safe deposit box or somewhere safe. The problem with that is that you there's always the possibility of losing that USB key or something to that effect. And if you do that, then you also lose all of your money. The one thing that's really awesome about cryptocurrency, not the one thing, but one thing that is awesome about cryptocurrency is that it removes the middleman. There are no banks, there are no financial institutions other than these wallets and these exchanges. And that's why a lot of people are calling this the future because it does have the potential of completely changing the financial market. I apologize for the lawnmower outside. Sometimes we just have to take what we can get. So that's kind of like a brief overview of things right now. And it's so hard not to go into more detail. I just don't want to make an hour long video about cryptocurrency and blockchain and Bitcoin. But I do find all of this really, 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 really interesting and almost necessary that we understand what's going on because if we want to be a part of the future then this is definitely going to be one of those things like i said in the beginning not necessarily what we're have what we have right now but it's possible this could turn into something or it might be what we have now who knows only time will tell okay so to go over my very amateur mining setup let me just explain what i'm running and what i'm doing so i have three computers going right now i have my main computer which has a 1080 i said earlier that i had tested mining ethereum on it and it was great with ethereum but i'm actually mining a different coin right now it's called sia coin it is a really cool technology that actually rents out your hard drive space your unused hard drive space to others that need hard drive space it's kind of like offering like a google drive but this is a little bit different and it is backed by the blockchain technology so i am not renting out any of my hard drive space all my hard drives are very small so that's not possible but i am contributing by mining on my computer to help facilitate any of those transactions and hence getting some sia coin in the process so that is my main computer i'm not sure if it's going to if i'm going to have it continue to mine sia coin very much then i do have two more computers down here that you can't see one computer has an rx 480 that i actually have to turn off when i am talking to the camera or pretty much functioning and doing anything because that graphics card at 100% is so loud. I don't know if it's the fans or what, but I've been testing uh, lowering the voltage, undervolting it, and adjusting the frequency and trying to adjust the fans, but I my temperatures are way too high on that graphics card, even with the fans running at 100%, and I'm not very big on 
overclocking graphics cards or underclocking and so I'm kind of in a new territory with that and it's just really loud I haven't figured out the sweet spot yet or if there is one it possibly is just a very loud card so that one is kind of annoying and that is why it is turned off but that one I did have mining Zcash which is a different currency that is actually pretty profitable there's a website you can go to called what to mine .com, and it'll give you kind of like an estimated profit for what you can make in 24 hours I think with Zcash it was ten dollars but obviously there's so many variables into that you can't just be like okay I'm gonna make ten dollars 20 mining 24 hours of my graphics card because it's gonna depend on which graphics card you have and a whole bunch of other possibilities your pool your setup all different kinds of things so it really just depends I haven't had it on for a full 24 hours so I don't know exactly what it is but that one is mining Zcash and then I have a third computer that has two graphics cards. It has a 1070 and a 970 that's mining Ethereum. And it's pulling a pretty good hash rate with those two cards. The mining software is great. It recognizes the cards right away. You don't have to do anything extra. It just sees two cards and it mines with both of them. So props to them for that. And that's mining Ethereum. And I don't know how much longer I'm going to be mining Ethereum. It's just... Ethereum to me is at the tail end of the whole mining craze and it's almost at the point where it's just not profitable at least for somebody like me with just a couple of cards on a couple of systems kind of just messing around it's not I would almost rather mine one of these uh, other smaller coins that are obviously going to be way more risky but you know if you had a couple thousand Bitcoin right now, you'd be in a pretty good spot. So I wouldn't mind mind I wouldn't mind mining some of the other coins just to have some volume in some random ones, just in case you never know which one is going to be the next Bitcoin or uh, you never know. So so just like in any type of investing, diversity is key same concept here. There's a very good chance that these are all going to get kind of messed around as I kind of learn more and do more mining and mess with my cards a little bit more to change their voltages and their output and everything we can do with them. So who knows what will come of this. It, it also may break me in that it makes this room incredibly hot. So if I'm like sweating and flushed, that is why it's really warm with three computers four graphics cards all running at 100 <sighs> percent but i digress this is all very interesting and i'm really excited to share this video with you guys and i want to see what you guys have to say about it and if you're interested in this if you want more videos like this let me know because honestly i don't know the interest level on this some people are just nope not for me some people are kind of like on the fence some people are very interested so let me know like i said not a how-to video or anything like that there's so many out there so well, i'm very new to this too so who am i to give that kind of advice at this point all right i think that's everything i had to say so i hope you enjoyed this video if you liked it then give it a like i haven't said that in a while and if you want to see more videos like this or anything who knows what else i bring out i have so many projects going right now i'm really excited then do subscribe to this channel and if you want to follow me in between the videos or have a conversation off of youtube then do follow me on instagram and twitter i'm both i'm pretty active on both of them so those are there in the description below otherwise i hope you have a fantastic day